Hi guys, I'm Jules. So today we're here with the Renault Megane RS 250. This one is in oyster grey, which I think is a super cute colour. I really like it. What's also special about this car is that it's specced with the cup chassis, which basically means it's got the red Brembo calipers, the cup suspension and also LSD. These wheels are the 19 inch option. So basically they're a bit bigger and give that like sporty, cool feel. If you look at the front, we also have the F1 blade, which is integrated with the daytime running lights. So again, giving that like sport track, cool feel. What's also cool about this car is it has the optional vision pack. So it's got the Xenon lights, the electric folding mirrors, and it's also keyless entry, which always comes in handy, right? <laughs> What I also like about this car is it's kind of like the old Renault Megane. I don't know if you remember the advert. It was like, I see you, baby, shaking that ass. <laughs> so it's got that like big booty element, but it's not like as big. So I think that's like a bit better, a bit cooler. But you can see it's got like the factory fitted side arches, which gives it that like wide appearance. It's also got the center exhaust in the diffuser, which I think is a cute little add-on, like it makes it look really cool and really sporty. Should we take a look in the boot? So as you can see, the boot has a fair bit of space and the owner of this car is clearly very into his track. We've got the steering wheel for practice during this whole COVID situation the helmet for when he eventually does get on track again, and the subwoofer in the corner. It's also got the reminder that this is an RS. <laughs> it's got RS. Renault Sport, so RS, RS. <laughs> as well, one thing that can be annoying is like the condensation in the lights, but this car doesn't actually get that at all. So that's pretty cool in case that annoys you. It's also got the spoiler on the top. So that's like, again, a sporty add-on. And now I guess we should take a look at the engine. So we're gonna take a look at the engine now. So as you can see, it's pretty busy in here, but it is a pretty standard engine. So it's a two litre turbo. So you've got the turbo here, got the air box here, and the oil goes in here. You've got to be careful not to make the mistake of putting the oil in here, because I've heard people have done that and you'll have to replace your whole engine. <laughs> um, so it's a front wheel drive. It goes 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds and as the name says, 250 horsepower. So one of my favorite features about this car is actually these Vaccaro leather bucket seats. They're just really cool. They look like sports car seats and also while you're driving, they hug you quite nicely. So it's a six speed manual. It's got dual climate control. So as you can see, the owner has had this Android screen fitted. It's quite cool because it shows you like the real time information like horsepower and everything. I'm absolutely obsessed with this dash as well, like it's got the yellow and it's also got this multi-function steering wheel. So like the yellow stitching matches the dashboard and here you can see it goes up to 175. What's also cool is we have the carbon trim across here, which makes it look really sporty.